Hello everyone, this is your Sunday evening KRQE.com webcast. Here's Ian Schwartz with a quick look at the forecast. Thanks, Tim. Another windy day as we start the week. Extreme winds out of the southwest start Monday. We're talking very strong winds. Could see gusts up to 50, maybe even 60 miles per hour. That's going to be an extreme fire danger. We will get a little precipitation out of this, but it's probably going to stay mainly in Colorado, Farmington, Durango, maybe some light rain. Uh, we're not expecting a whole lot. It's still going to be windy in the northwest. That'll be the main feature. As we get into Tuesday, the wind will still be an issue. We will be cooler. Wednesday's looking even better, and then the rest of the week beyond that, not too bad. So, a couple of windy days here in Albuquerque, a cooling trend, and then we'll start to warm up with plenty of sunshine for the end of the week. All right, thank you. We intense moments for passengers and crew members of a Delta Airlines flight headed for San Diego from Detroit. The FBI says a security threat on board forced the pilots to land in Albuquerque earlier today. The FBI was called in, and after searching the plane and all 137 passengers, agents determined there was no threat. Still, it caused quite the headache for the passengers and crew who had to spend a couple of hours in a warehouse while the FBI investigated. The Transportation Security Administration says the flight landed just before 10 o'clock this morning. At the Sun Port, after a flight attendant found a note inside a restroom. Neither the TSA nor the FBI would comment on what the note said, but the pilots felt strongly enough to divert to Albuquerque just to be safe. Once on the ground, the passengers deplaned and were searched and interviewed by the FBI. Officials say everyone is on high alert these days after Osama bin Laden's death a week ago today, and the threats are met with the utmost urgency. We take these very seriously, so all the appropriate agencies were called in. Uh, they all conducted their own investigations and, and did what they had to do, and so we're comfortable now with the outcome, and, and uh, now we're just focused on getting these folks back on their way. All 137 passengers were on their way to San Diego by 5 o'clock this evening. City, county, and state firefighters rushed to a wildfire burning just outside Santa Fe today. The flames broke out around 2 o'clock this afternoon on Highway 285 and the old Las Vegas Highway. Two structures were destroyed and two others were damaged. This is video sent in from News 13 Sky Ranger. You can see plenty of homes in the area. Twelve homes are still threatened. Six have been evacuated. State Forestry reports the fire appears to be slowing down. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates. I'm Tim Maestas. Thanks for logging on.